Welcome back to Finding Paradise, Episode 9. I'm your host, Helium Lemon. I don't know if I'm your host. Oh, are they gonna draw another plane? Oh, no, I guess not. Because... Why should they? This place is all empty and sad. Except for them, I guess. They're closing the airport. So sad. What are those things? Are those water fountains? I can't tell because I can't interact with them. Yeah, that's the thing about empty places. Liminal spaces or whatever. Just... It, there's such a weird vibe. If there's a place that's meant to be inhabited, but it's just totally empty and totally devoid of any, any people or whatnot. Oh, requires one or to proceed, so of course I'm dumb and need to go hunting, hunting for the orb. Have we been up there? Dun, 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 dun. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, there's absolutely nothing up here. Arr, so stupid. I'm not genuinely well, well, maybe a little miffed. Miffler. Dunder Miffler. I don't know. Something. Something about the ages and the circles and the circles and the ages. Oh, that skinny blonde girl. She took me all t into different places, like the university parking lot and the computer lab. I failed college algebra again. You've got a stupid butt and a- wait, no, it's an ugly butt and a stupid butt. Everybody got a, a stupid butt. Everybody got an ugly butt. You've done good work for us, kid. Honest, respectful work. Oh, and I almost forgot. Your favorite plane's still here for one more day before we move her. If you want to give her one last flight before, then it's on the family. And he fades into nothing. Goodbye, Marlon Brando. More like Marlon... No, I got that. <gasps> pretty flowers. Bird song. Pretty bird song. So, what's the next step? With the airport closing down and all? What the bird's looking at them? You see the bird? It's just looking up. No, never mind. Well, there's the freight flying job I applied for. I did an interview with them the other day. I think I got a good chance at it. There's still a long way to go, but that'll help me build some more flight hours. Wow. To think that you've actually come so far. Feels like only yesterday we were still standing on that balcony. Thanks for giving me the kick I needed, by the way. Happy to have obliged. Hey, any progress with that lady from the orchestra? Sophia? Well, we've been talking. And? I don't know, I might try to ask her out on a date soon, but you know how I am with that stuff. Want to help me prepare? Uh, I'm not sure if I'd be of much help with those sort of things, but if you want advice, I'd say just to work on making yourself more interesting, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, still a work in progress. We haven't been talking as often lately, you know? Sometimes, even when I'm here, you just do your own thing. I know. Sorry, it's just been so busy. A good kind, though, right? Seems to me like you've got it together. Man, I'd love a, a soda or a coffee or right now or something. That's okay. Hey, you gonna take up that flight the boss offered? 
Barry said that there's a grass strip near the hill we used to go, right? Might be a good time to try a landing there. And she's doing the hair thing again. Trying to look all pretty with her hair. Looking all coquettish. So him and Faye drifted apart. Whether or not Faye is actually real. I wasn't supposed to say anything about that because that's a spoiler. What's your idea? Permanent marker. What are you doing? Oh, you just drew a smile on him? You just drew a smile on him? Lips are red, not black. He looks like an affectionate joker. We've almost burnt through all the memories, haven't we? I guess. The vortex should just be up ahead. Good, maybe that'll help us get to the source of what he wants. As if we don't know that already. Notice how he's frozen, but she isn't. It's her, obviously. There's a reason she keeps on showing up. The guy's clearly got his childhood sweetheart on his mind and has been asking what ifs. He wants her, but he's got principles, so he knows he can't have her. The perfect equation for a sad, sad man who needs our help hacking the root of the problem. Are you suggesting to remove her? Well, if we do, you'd be the expert. Whatever, whatever happens, we'd have to change something. And in the end, she's the one we could alter the most anyhow. Colin himself said we should try to avoid changing things involving his family, right? Out of these memories, Faye's the only other consistency that we keep coming back to. I guess you're right, we could start with her and work our way up from there. But something still doesn't add up. Hello? Could it be? It's me, Roxy, I'm here! How's it going in there? Uh, awesomely, of course. How are you doing? Did you bring the paperwork? Yep, I brought the paperwork, alright. I also brought Rob. What? I can't stand that guy. I can hear you. Hi, Rob. Hey. Anyway, you guys want to come out real quick to get the paperwork done? Kind of on a roll here, maybe we should just ask them to help us with the papers. Oh, by the way, Neil, I was gonna ask about the machine, I think I saw... I'm heading out, get the forms ready for a fill-in. You know the protocols, Eva. Collins are patient now, and one of us has to check the forms. Yeah, but we've let others help before, and headquarters never cared. Maybe we should have cared, Eva. Maybe we should have cared. Oh, so you're just leaving her? Wait, Neil, you're just leaving? Something tells me that's not a good idea. What's happening? Oh, Act 2. Oh, of course. Act. Dos. Because cause this is a Shakespeare play. Much Ado About Nothing. We were just talking about Much Ado. So, let me get this straight. You took apart the whole machine because the maintenance department... The maintenance department sucks butt. Look, it was the easiest way. Had I just left it to the company process, it would have never gotten done. Much like this paperwork. Oh my gosh, I just realized you're talking and writing at the same time. That's amazing. I hope I didn't cause you to make a mistake. I'm so sorry. Sometimes even I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, and that's saying a lot. Come to think of it, you actually really remind me a bit of someone from this patient's memory. She's wacky and all over the place, too. Bet I would have loved to meet her. I'm sure you would have. Too bad we're gonna have to do something about her. Anyhow, whoosh, the paperwork's done and signed. Thanks for bringing in the docs, Rox. I'm gonna go check on Colin. Oh, you're just gonna get away like that? You might have fooled Eva and Ra, but how do you think you could fool a fellow technician? I did a quick diagnostic earlier. Seems like you've done more than just removing the stabilizer. The machine you're using here isn't even your official Sigmund equipment, is it? Because your registered machine is back at headquarters in your office. 
I don't know what you're up to, but I'm going to find out. Uh, hey, Rob, how's the situation looking? It's fine. I was talking with the medical doctor and... What's with the murderous atmosphere? Oh, Rob, you tripping again. No, I am not, in fact, tripping again. Is everything going okay in here? Swimmingly. Neil was just going to go check on Colin. Yeah, I'm going to go check on Colin. Uh, okay then. That was interesting. Oh, you gotta have to walk around it, of course. Aw, happy family. Oh, a whole lifetime of memories and we barely ran into any of these nice ones. Well, does... Those don't necessarily make up your story, do they? If you think about your life story, and what made you grow... Oh, okay. Hey, Eva, do you hear me? Neil? Yep, how's it going in there? Just trying to find the last memory link. Still, there was only one left? Yeah, I just, I don't know. I've looked everywhere, but the scan shows there's one more here somewhere. I've got to find it. Are you done with the paperwork? Well, I just... Damn it. Where are my pills? Neil? I better not have left them in the car again. Hey, you still there? Neil? What pills? Shouldn't take that long to get to the car and back. What pills? Like medication? Like, shouldn't you have brought them with you on your job? Are you making excuses? Are you not telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Oh, hey, Sophia. How's it going? Why does it sound like dripping water in here? Just needed to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. That's good. Might as well. We're done connecting most of the paths through Colin's memories, by the way. If you'd like, I could tell you about the things we found. I thought that would be considered confidential. Yeah, but you're his wife. I personally think you deserve to know. Thanks, but I'm okay. I get that. Aren't you at least a bit curious? Aren't you at least a bit curious about the things we found? Sure. And there was a time when I'd have been... I'd have been dying to know every detail. But now, I don't think it matters much anymore. Perhaps you know some things I don't. Maybe it did even change my view of things. Still, even then, it'd just be another incomplete piece of reality. And after a lifetime when all is said and done, I feel like the best I could do is to simply stay with the reality I've come to peace with. There is, however, something I wanted to ask, only because I feel like it's meant for me. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here? No, I was going to ask you about it. He's had it for a long time now, but he's kept on replacing its pages, and now it's just filled with pieces of blank paper. If you find something about it that's meant for me, please do let me know, that's all I ask. Understood, I'll keep an eye out for it. Hey, wait. Dr. Watts, right? I know I haven't been the most welcoming, and you probably know why by now. But I know you're just here to do your job, so thank you for helping him. Yeah, no hard feelings. Okay, back to mischievous music. Hello? Oh, he still needs to run to the car. I had to I had to check on Sophia's um I had to check on Sophia though, Colin's wife. But I still have to run to the car. Because because I'm just not good enough. No, I don't know. Right, I keep forgetting they're in an apartment building. But yeah, they sure are. 
It feels big enough to be a house, but no, it's an apartment building. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Hey, mister. I knew you'd come by here. Oh, it's you again. Thanks for kicking Amber's doll into the pond for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Is that your mother? It's okay. I hope you traumatized that kid. <laughs> She's been picking on my potato for years. It's time she learned her lesson. And now that I got an even smaller potato, I was really trying to uh, starting to worry about the future. You named your other kid Potato too? Of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a nickname. His real name's Spud. Really? Really? Ooh, Corny. Corny. He once literally beat up Amber for me. Isn't that great? No, you meant figuratively. Oh, aw. But whatever. So anyway, last week, Colin gave me his leftover jar of lemon juice. Give me an amaretto sour. Hold the amaretto. Wait, lemon juice? What for? To write spy messages, of course. It's invisible ink. I totally forgot about that. Lucky me. Lemon juice. So g could you give the jar back to Colin? Well, I don't think Colin needs it anymore. You could probably keep it. Wowie, thanks. I'm going to write a letter to myself. Okay, potato. It's time to head back home. Aw, all right. Viva, are you calling from the machine? Yeah, at least this function's still working normal. That makes no sense. Hey, listen, I think I might have figured out Colin's book with the blank pages. That's not important. Right now, I need you to check something for me. Uh, what? Hi! Is everything going okay in there? No. Are you at a computer? I can be. Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? You think she was in a plane crash? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. I'll send you her extracted profile. There's enough data even without a last name. Let me know when you have the results. Okay. Uh-oh. Hello! Hey, Rox, you're still on your laptop, right? Yep, yep. I just forwarded a profile to you. Mind helping me running a record check? Sure, mind telling me what you're up to with the machine? Uh, okie dokie, locky pocky. It's settled then. I'll call you back with the results. Now what? Do we just walk around until she calls us back? Still, He still said he was going to do a supply run to the car. So I guess we're going to walk to the car. I guess we're walking to the car. Ooh, pretty flowers. Oh, I like I like the atmosphere of this outdoor area with the pond and the flowers and the trees. Neil, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Hello, are you there? I'm right here. What is it? Neil, if you can hear me. Listen, I don't think she... Eva? You still there? Weird. The comm mess must be malfunctioning. I'll fix it as soon as I get back. Uh, I don't think you should be going to the car unless it's really important. I think Eva needs your help, but that's just my opinion, and nobody asked for my opinion, so we're just... <laughs> oh, hey, who's this dude on a motorcycle? Or not dude, maybe it's a lady. I don't know. Wait a minute. That's a nice bike. Sure wish I had one like it. Who was that? What the heck? I keep... Come on. I got to the car. No, it's Roxy, you silly putty. So how's the record search going? It's gonna turn out... Actually, no, it's not great at all. Well, what Rob's saying is that it depends on your perspective. Did she die in a plane crash or not? Well... So here's the great part. There's no plane crash to her record, so you ha have to worry about that. Sheesh, why didn't you just say so? 
A simple no would have sufficed. Well, that's not all, though. The thing is, not only is there no plane crash, there's nothing else to her record, either. In fact, there is no record of Faye. As in, no record available to public domain? As in, no record in existence anywhere. We've checked the cumulative public record, the private ID network databases, even a few places that we technically don't have access to. Still, there is no record of her for anything. No death, not even birth. Oh, so unless Collins got some extreme form of distortive amnesiac condition, he doesn't. I checked. Yeah, so... This sounds like Moonrise Kingdom music. In the best way. You have to save the save the Boy Scout troop from the storm. Here on the island of what's it called? New Penzance. Here on the island of New Penzance. Hey, where are you two going? Company called. We got another patient going live across town. Yeah, I gotta hop. Sorry, Neil. Night call, huh? Should have taken a nap. Eh, we're all used to it by now. Seems like you've got a handful to sort out yourself, huh? Yes. If what we yielded means what I think it means, you might be in for a tricky evening. At least from our experience, patients capable of that tend to be rather peculiar cases. I've read the patient's case, by the way. Care for a word of advice? I don't know the details of Colin's life, but this reminds me of a case we've done. Just try to remember that making someone happy isn't only about finding the answers. It could also be about shaping the question. Anyhow, good luck. By the way, don't think you're getting off the hook easily. After this is done, you've got some explaining to do, don't you? And it's gonna be so much fun! See ya, I'm looking forward to it. Oh my god. I do know that you removed the machine stabilizer, but with the patient's subconsciousness being neurowired to the system's processor, well, I hope you got a backup plan if he's able to get around its single red thread firewall. Basically, we're gonna have a bad time is what they're saying. So, uh, yeah, see you next time on... Next time on Finding Paradise. Goodbye.